Okay, so let's try a couple of these where we have to figure out which trig function. So using trig, solve these problems. And we're just solving for one variable. So if this angle is 12, this side is 4, which trig function would I use to find the missing side? And review trig ratios. So our trig ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent. Where sine is your opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And a lot of you learn just SOHCAHTOA to help us remember that. Well, let's identify. This one is opposite. This is another leg, so it's adjacent, which trig function uses opposite adjacent, and that is tangent. So tangent of the angle, which is 12, is equal to x over 4. Grab your handy-dandy calculator and take the tangent of 12, close that bracket, if not, you're going to multiply the angle, times 4, and that's going to give us 0.85. So that means this side over here is 0.85, which is less than 1. Well, let's see if that makes sense. If this angle is only 12, if we were to draw that to scale, it would look something like this, very small, where this is 4, and that's not even 1. Yes, that does make sense. It's going to be less than 1, so think about that kind of logically. Okay, let's look at the second one. Okay, we have an angle that's 72. This side is our opposite. We're trying to solve for the hypotenuse. Which trig function do you use? Opposite hypotenuse, that is sine. So the sine of 72 is equal to the opposite, which is 18, over the hypotenuse, which is x. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit trickier because our variable is in the denominator. But let's cross multiply. So 18 is equal to x times sine of 72. Well, to find x, I'm going to have to divide both sides by sine of 72. So in our calculators, we're going to have to type in 18 divided by the sine of 72. Let's grab this and take 18 divided by sine of 72. And that will give us 18.9. And that is what the hypotenuse is. Now let's see if that makes logical sense. Our leg is 18, our hypotenuse has to be longer. So yes, it is longer. This angle is very large. It's almost 90 degrees. So that means this opposite side is gonna be a lot longer and this adjacent side will be super short. So the fact that it's 18.9 makes sense.